All right, guys, how you doing? This is Mark Graham, engineering manager at Gorilla Grills. First off, thanks for your purchase of the Primate, and now we gotta get this thing together. So a few tools you'll need is a couple crescent wrenches. Get a good set of gloves, because there is a lot of sheet metal involved and you want to cut your hands. And then you'll need an eight millimeter nut driver or a socket and a Phillips screwdriver. That's all you're gonna to need to get this thing put together. So you can see around me, I got everything taken out laid out just for ease of uh, assembly and I got the, the screw bags kind of separated as, as well and uh, from that point on it's pretty easy so I'll show you how to keep how to get it done. Alright so first of all we got the base here I got it flipped upside down so I can see the bottom we're gonna install the wheels I already have three installed for the video purposes uh, there's two regular and two locking I like to put the locking ones in the front that way if I'm moving around I can simply uh, step on and lock them in place. Some people like hide them in the back. That's your preference. So simply put them in position. This is where you're going to use your nut driver and a washer and simply install your four screws. All right, so I got my last wheel put in. So now we're going to flip this thing over. I got the front here facing that way. So now we're going to install the back panel. All right, so I got my back panel in place. So now we're going to put in the four screws. All right, so we got the back panel installed. Next, I'm gonna put on the left panel. The left panel can be identified because it has two holes here. We want this facing up. So we basically set it on the side, install your four screws along the bottom and two along the back. Now it's time to install the right side. And again, you can tell the right side because it has multiple holes here for your towel rack. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put it in position. We're gonna put our four screws along the back two along the side and we should be good to go. All right, so we got our right side panel in. Now it's time for the rear support. There's two of these, they look pretty similar. I get a look at this one, it has a tab. This goes along the front, which we'll get to in a minute. So we're gonna start with the back. Keep the finished side facing out. We'll put it in place, install the four screws. All right, we got the back support installed, so now we gotta build the internal shelf. We got two panels here. Uh, first, we're gonna install the vertical, the smaller one. So we install this. There's clearance holes in the bottom with nuts on here. And you want the finished side on the outside. So we're simply gonna put this in place and install our two screws. All right, so I got my vertical panel installed. Next is to put the shelf. On this, we got the two nuts on this side and the clearance holes on this side. So we're gonna put the clearance holes over here and then the nuts will be on this side and we'll go ahead and put our two screws in the outside out here. All right so we got our shelf installed both these pieces so next is to put the front support we already did the back support it's gonna be the same idea again the finished side outward and we want our door stop facing down so simply put it in position and we're gonna install the four screws. All right, so we got the front support installed. Next is to put the two doors on. They look similar, but one button does not push. One button does push. So the button that does push goes up top. So in this case, we're gonna place the solid button on the bottom, press the top until it snaps in place. And you're all set. And we'll do the same for the left side. All right, so we got the cabinet pretty much completely built. So next is time to install a heat shield. This protects the tank from the heat, so I'll simply install this on the right side above the tank, and now we're ready for the heavy lifting. All right guys, time for the heavy lifting. I'm extremely powerful, so I can do it by myself. Actually, I'm not. I'm old and I'm weak, so I'm gonna enlist the help of my buddy down here. We're gonna lift this up. When we set it on here, basically we're gonna set it on the inside of this lift, position it so the three holes on each side line up, and simply add the six screws and we're ready to rock. Ready to go down? Let's do it. So we got it lined up. Now it's time to install the screws. Now it's time to install the tray that holds the grease pan. So we're going to use two of the smaller screws and install it right here. All right, so we've got our support mounted. So next we're going to put the four screws in here. These again are the larger screws. And we're going to install these three quarters of the way. The trays actually have little keyholes in them, so once we get it three quarters on, we're gonna stick the shelf on, lock it down, and then we'll tighten up the rest of the way. All right, so I got the four screws mounted about three quarters of the way in. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this left side shelf that has the two holders facing the front here. As you can see, there's little keyholes on the back. I'm simply going to line that up, put them over top of it, and then slide it down, and then simply go in here and tighten these up. So now we're going to install our paper towel holder. So we've got a little bracket here. We're going to use four of the smaller screws and mount a bracket right on the front set of holes here. All right, so next it's time to hook in our regulator. So we're going to feed it through the ground in the back, put it right on the fitting, tighten with our finger, and then secure it with a couple crescent wrenches, get it nice and tight. Do not use uh, sealant or anything on this. this is a, press fit. So tighten it by hand, cinch it tight, and you're good to go. All right, so we got her built. Let's get some gas in this thing. So we're simply going to slide this in, place it in the hole. There's a thumb screw here to secure the tank. And take your uh, connector here. Stall it hand tight, and you're ready to go. All right, so the last little accessory is your towel holder. This could go on either end. I'm going to put on this side. Simply put them in the slots here, slide them down, and you can hang your wife's favorite dish towel right here. All right, guys, last couple things here. We got our lower grease tray. Simply slide this in place, and we got our grease for our griddle operation. Simply slide that in over here, and you're all set. All right, there's a couple ways you can run this grill. Obviously, it's a gas grill or a griddle. So first, I'm going to show you how to set up as a gas grill. There's going to be four of these flame tamers that go over top of the burners, and there's going to be three of these grates that go over top. All right, so obviously, the other setup here is as a griddle. So when you're doing that, you want to get everything out of here. So make sure you remove your flame tamers. All those need to be out of here so just the burners are exposed, all right? Then all you do is simply put your griddle in here, making sure your drain is on the front left side next to the exit, and you're ready to roll. All right, guys, it took about 30 minutes to get this thing together. You're gonna love this machine. I'm telling you, this is a fun grill. Breakfast, smash burgers, dinners, it does it all. Pretty simple to put together. Cabinet, throw the beast on top, throw some trays on there and a few accessories, and you're ready to go. Just make sure when you set it up, you follow the instructions between the gas and the griddle operation uh, to make sure that it uh, performs properly. And what you have to do is season a new griddle. So there's going to be a video you can watch on that because this plate needs to be seasoned. It's very important for that thing to last. So with all that being said, thank you and hope this helps.